J.J. Abrams talks openly about the Star Wars plans that they had going into the Star Wars sequel trilogy, and some of the lack of planning, and how it sort of fell apart. So when a lot of people say that Disney didn't have a plan with Lucasfilm and Star Wars, it's sort of not true, because they announced very early on that three different directors would each deliver their own unique style and take on the trilogy, and that each director would be responsible for developing that film with one through line. People seem to forget this and ignore this, but this is exactly what was announced and we knew was happening. Then things changed. J.J. Abrams decided to do something that many people look at as safe. Then Ryan Johnson was stuck with the middle chapter, which was reactionary to people saying, we want something new, don't just retread the old ground. And then Trevorrow was obviously fired because his film, Book of Henry, I believe, was so god-awful that Disney was like, whoa, we don't want that. And he also got blamed for Jurassic World being just a copy and paste of Jurassic Park. So they didn't want that same J.J. Abrams criticism. So during the course of the development of the trilogy, we know that they changed directions multiple times to favor to fans, to favor to J.J. Abrams' mystery box, and tons of other reasons. And recently, J.J. talked a little bit about this with Collider in an interview where he's a little bit more open about what went on. But the big takeaway from this giant interview and multiple quotes he drops is that largely it was unplanned. They sort of wanted to see what works and then work off of that. And it almost seems like Disney slash Lucasfilm had the mystery box mentality before J.J. was ever brought on. And we know that that never works. It never works for J.J. either. It's just not something that works. And that's why people are trying to get away from that style. And we've seen that having a plan on the TV side is working more in favor because you know what you're building up towards. And when he talks about this, it seems like that one of the big things that happened was, of course, the passing of Carrie Fisher. That, he mentions a unexpected event that changed everything. And I can only assume it's that. That sort of uh, dictated that the third film could not go in a direction that was already determined because they don't have her anymore. So they had to dance around using older footage and weird angles and it just looked weird and the story had to be shoehorned around these clips. And you understand that it seemed like from The Last Jedi on, it was just sort of a mess behind the scenes because reactionary and unforeseen events. And it's good to know that finally we have some sort of clarity. Again, it's not all, but at least he talks about the plans and then the lack of plans and then plans that got changed all the time. 